We are into the FTL with the no pause. Let me get the uh, pause turned off here. You're so bad with a stealth ship? Uh, stealth A is a great ship if you learn how to micro and time your cloaking at the right time. It's a program that simulates space. Quite nice, worth looking at. It's not a game. Okay, uh, I guess space engine. Cool. All right. I probably have a... I have an app on my phone that's like a star thing that lets you like see the different stars, but it's probably different than that. I might have to check that out sometime. But how are you doing, Flemmy? We are uh, we are playing the Kestrel, uh, the Kestrel, the Lanius B. Uh, I have the second on my tier list because I put Zoltan A above it, which who knows if that's actually worth the top spot on the list. Apparently, some I think uh, Britnoth was saying this ship has its own tier or whatever. I honestly don't know if I can rate this as highly as some of the other ones just because, you know, it doesn't have hacking, and hacking is so good. However, what this ship does have that's insane is two-man Lanius boarding with mind control and the craziest OP weapon in the game, the frickin' advanced flak. The frickin' advanced flak. You gotta put extra words to talk about how good this is. Do I have FTL, FTL on my phone? No. I don't play FTL except when I'm streaming it. I have thousands of hours. I don't need more phone hours on FTL. Uh, I don't even think you can have FTL on your phone. I think you can have it on your... Uh, I don't have an iPhone. Maybe you have an iPhone, because I think it's like a... Uh, whatever it is, a... The Apple thing or something. But here we go. We're going for our third win in a row with the Lanius B. Let's jump right in, my friends. This is pauseless. This is this crazy OP ship. We're going to save positions to be in... Uh, the teleporter to start. You're all fine. Thanks for asking. Nice to hear it, Flemmy. All right. So what are the scary things that this ship can't deal with? Auto scouts are fine because we can board right on. Um, weapons. Um, basically just any missile ship. Um, I, I, I feel like one of the reasons the ship is so good is because it can deal with so many different situations early game. Uh, getting um, like... Second shield is probably our first goal, and then a weapon to go with our uh, advanced flak. Store, I could sell emergency respirators. It'd be a waste of a jump. Am I okay with wasting my first jump just to sell emergency respirators? I wouldn't be able to afford a weapon. I'd be able to afford long-range scanners. That about it. I'm going to skip that. I don't have the second landing achievements. Oh, my God. Saying anything about FDL achievements about what I do and don't have is kind of pointless because um, this is I've played this game so much I've gotten all achievements at some point uh, the reason I don't have an achievement is because I've reset my save multiple times so this is gonna hit okay it's fine all right uh, beautiful now you have no weapons we're gonna do this because solar flare is a pain I hit the one room I didn't vent. Of course it did. You know, if it didn't do that, FTL wouldn't be the trolliest game of all time. That's fine. It's fine. Three damage. Solar Flare that I didn't know was there. It's probably one of the least good things we can run into. Pretty sure the FTL is just on tablet and PC. Yeah, I, I don't know about FTL on phone. Um, I thought it was released on... Was it iPad, I think it was? So, I don't know if... That means it's available on other Apple devices. I don't have Apple devices because I hate Apple. So, uh, that I don't know about. One, two, three. Oh, I don't hate it. I just don't use it. All right. Yeah, I I did my, uh, I did my FTL achievement hunting long, long ago. I no longer care about any of those. She's been hunting an FTL or something, uh, something for past Rand. Current Rand doesn't need to worry about that. You prefer Raspberry. I don't get it. Okay. Let's go ahead and finish these guys. Okay, very nice. Um, so since I do have a store, I will wait until I go to the store before investing in, like, shield value point and stuff like that. Uh, I will say, probably the biggest challenge of the ship is just dealing with your Lanius not 
being able to be cloned in full health every fight. So that's probably the biggest challenge of this ship. Oh, it's a joke about Apple. It's a pun about Apple. Great, great. Glad we're getting started off early, started off early with the puns. All right, what do you got? Back at battery hacking, another flak. Can I afford the flak? I cannot. Damn, five scraps short of that. Um, that's sad times. I could get backup battery. I can't come back here because of the way I do my jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's no way to get a bunch of nebulas and then come back around with this setup. But distresses are good for us because we have NG and we have clone bay. There's, there's, uh, you never, the way I do my jumps, Flummy, trying to eke out every bit of scrap before stores, I can almost never come back to stores. So there's no way to do it. Uh, so as much as I'd love that, we just can't do it. The only thing I can do is sell an advanced flak for a flak, which would be a distinct downgrade. Um, don't need to take too much time with this. It's just fine. We just, we can't do it. We just get level two shields. Hopefully this is not the only chance we get to get another good weapon. Honestly, a heavy laser would be better than a flak with this ship. I just love my flak, so, you know, I always want to have a flak. Damn it, that placement's bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, if I take these two, four, five, six, seven, eight... Get here in six, seven, eight, nine. But I don't get nine. I only get eight if I do that. So it'd have to be a dive in sector one if I want to get that quest. Or I don't take the nebula jumps. Uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess with a quest that's likely to be either a ship fight or free stuff. I should just skip the nebulas here. Sad flak noises. I don't know what those would be, but I am sad. Nice. I am also making sad flak noises. One, two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think I can get eight if I go through two nebulas because it doesn't give me a full other jump. So we're just gonna pass up on nebula jumps for the quest here. Okay, you cannot get through my shields. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, love to see it. Hey, thanks for killing the O2, bro. Appreciate that. All right, free human. I'll take it. It's a human, but he's free. They're free. She's free. Free human is always good. Um, I like to get level 2 clone bay too, so more heals between and protection from losing crew. I think this is probably my upgrade path. Second shield, then level 2 clone bay. If I don't get a weapon early, basically. You always wonder, do I get more loot by boarding than by blowing up? Uh, in general, yes. In general, uh, boarding rewards are... Worth more scrap than non-boarding rewards. Sometimes that extra scrap translates into being an extra crew. Um, so score-wise, that is probably not as much scrap. But um, in general, yes. Find a Zura achievement, get. Great. Okay, I want him to die. I don't need my weapons. I'm gonna let him get training by killing that. You're not gonna die, are you? You're gonna almost die, but not quite die. Come on, die! Oh, what? Okay, this guy. Finish him! Damn it, that guy! Uh, okay, walk in here and die. Perfect. Okay. 
<laughs> oh, and then he died anyway. <laughs> I think he vented right at the end or something. Uh, uh, guy was sitting at one health for the longest time. That human nope so hard. He like looked at him, was aiming, and then was like, I can't breathe, and then he runs. It's like, thankfully, he still killed our guy, which we wanted so that we could, you know, get his... Get his uh, health refreshed by venting him. Or by cloning him. Uh, I'm going to get one more power. And then next we're saving up for like level 2 engines or a uh, weapon upgrade or something like that. Nice health management. Thank you. I'm not sure if you're being facetious or not, but thank you. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Do, 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 do. That was a complete whiff. Okay, that's my O2 borked. That's not good. Alright, two damage missile. You guys don't fight in there anymore. You can say nice things, Kappa. <laughs> okay. All right, then I totally believe you, Kappa. I want the Angie to get the repair training, so then we're going to do that. You're going to go there. Cookie reporting for GG. What's up, Bird Brain? Putting holes in your crew counts as venting, right? There you go. Okay. Oh, free reactor upgrade. Okay. It's like a free reactor upgrade when you just upgraded your reactor. Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? Uh, I don't want to take your bribe, but you have a missile, but I'm going to be a hero. Just going to always shoot at weapons, even though we're boarding on weapons, to try to get damn missiles offline. There we go. Two damage missile. So we've taken nine damage, and I believe about seven of that has been from two damage missiles. Okay, I want you to die. Got him. Nice. Beautiful. Draining the entire ship of O2 is really fun. Fun, but slow, so not something I often do, honestly. All right, what do we got? Rock, Uncharted, Nebula. Wow, that's really, really terrible choices. If I could think of two bad choices for this ship, that would probably probably be two of the worst. Lanius would be great. Of course, it would be amazing. NG with an NG is great for free stuff. I don't have long-range scanners for Nebula, and Rock just got all these damn missiles, so I'm going Nebula. Screw your missiles, man. Yeah, seven damage from two damage missiles. Okay, you know, I didn't check the math. Fine, you can lull at my math on stream. Um, but combination of missiles has done has done most of the damage to my ship. So that's that's what I'm whining about. What I always the same crap I always whine about. Would iron weapons go well with border ships? Uh, not really. Probably. Take that. It's a slight. Save a scrap. Ah, oh, goddamn missiles, man. <laughs> just, just nothing but damn missiles. Nothing but damn missiles. Okay, we got it offline. Hey, what do you know? We went ahead and took one damage, though. Because F us. Missiles every ship. Just F me, I guess. Small bomb goes well with boarding ships. That does go well with boarding ships. Ions, not really. Small bombs, absolutely. What's up, Magnum? Even Ion Stunner, I, I wouldn't like very much for, uh, for boarding ships. I mean, you could make a case for boarding in a shield room with the Lanius, and it stuns them while it slowly gets vented. Uh, it's like... It's like Taking a much harder way of doing something much simpler. Mind control in the room and kill him. 
All right. Let me see, 26 scrap. Uh, is it worth going to a store? I could sell small bomb for something. I only have three missiles. Um, you're medium sad. How about me? I'm better than that. I'm medium happy. I'm sorry to hear you're medium sad. It's only 40 for the bomb. I'm gonna I'm gonna not sell it right now. I don't know. I I don't know about the captain in your pilot piloting skills for a brain. I don't know. Hey, you can't do damage to me. If you want to be pilot, just say it. <laughs> it's... Yes. Feel free to let me know if you want to be the pilot of this ship. I'm barely awake, so... Okay, I want you guys to die. Oops. So, nobody dies, of course. Come in and kill me! Oh my god, are both my guys gonna be at one health? Oh, uh, damn. That was, that was not what I was hoping for right there. That is about as bad as... Eight and four health. All right, um, it's okay, don't worry about it. All right, then I won't worry about it. Thanks for <laughs> giving me the okay to not worry about somebody else's rough time. What's up, Vega? You always fight so efficient, that's going to happen. Lanius is just too strong, man. They each only needed, you needed one more hit, and you needed, like, two more hits. So. Uh, two more scrap, and I can get the small bomb online. Do I want to go to this store? I mean, again, I could sell small bomb for something, but I kind of don't want to. Look at all these stores when I got less than, like, 50 scrap. Isn't it great? It's not that great. I mean, I could get long-range scanners. Frickin' hell, I'm gonna look just for long-range scanners. Okay, no long-range scanners. We're not doing anything here, then. There's, 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 like, backup battery and stuff, but... I just want to get the small bomb online because it's also a value point for flak. Ugh, arm the weapons. Okay. They have a heal bay. Alright. Alright, so we're going to small bomb the weapons first. Teleport into there, and we're gonna small bomb the heal bay. There we go. And we're gonna board a second time. There's two of my bombs up there. Oh, let me get in there before it repairs. Perfect. All right. Another free crew, gotta love it. Lanius with suffocation do the same damage as Mantis, right? I, I don't know. I don't know the breakpoint on that kind of stuff. Um, 46 scrap. I mean, now if I do this, I have one missile left, but it's still a value point for the bomb, so I guess we'll take that. Um, okay, have you gotten any piloting training? You've gotten six, and we have the mind control counter, but I'll still do this. It, this is, this is sector two. It's early enough to swap out our pilot for a mind control immune pilot. Okay, chase them. Well, it's doubled in a nebulous. It's not the worst thing in the world, but still annoying. If we dive, it's a nebula dive. What I'd love is not empty jumps, though. Every freaking jump here. Attack the ship. You can't do damage to us. Okay. 100% we are um, refreshing our crew here. I need a small bomb. They don't have clone bay or anything. Um, we should take some shots just to get some training on weapons. Slug of weapons is also really good. Interesting. Okay. Wow. 
You hit the O2 with the... Okay, sure. I don't understand that, but I'll, oh, it's fine. That is, that's perfectly fine. Totally nothing weird about this shot hitting only the O2. <laughs> Okay. Come on, dude. Come on. Just accept your death, man. There it is. An ion bomb. Wow, two bomb weapons when I have one missile. Isn't that ironic, don't you think? I think we just plan on a dive here. I'm not sure if I get four. Seven fuel, though. I don't know if they're ship fights. Uh, let's just leave. Let's just leave. If I had long range scanners that I knew that I was going into ship fights, I'd take I'd take the extra jumps. But it's just it's not worth it when you're just guessing if they're actually worth going to get you any scrap. I am mom could be really useful later. I I disagree. I small bomb is good now if i have missiles what i'd love is just to find a store with a you know uh with like a heavy laser or something so yes small chance it's useful later still way worse than most other things we could get well i hope i get one fuel from the next two jumps <laughs> you know what i'm gonna guarantee we can get to the store by taking that fuel Ion Bomb is so slow, it's like, to me, Glaive Beam. Like, yeah, yeah, there are times when it's good. Very few of them when I actually want to use it, though. Okay, NG boarding, it's fine. You have level 3 heal bay, are you freaking kidding me? Level three freaking heal bay, man. Now that's insane. Who the hell is level three heal bay in sector three? Please kill him, by the way. Okay. What? <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Come, kill him. I want him to die. Thank you. Okay. Jeez. First world problems. My enemies are so stupid and weak that they can't kill my Lania so they can refresh. First world FTL problems, I guess. Why won't you kill me? <laughs> Iron Bomb is fast enough if you board. Same as Breach 2. Okay, great. I'm glad you think so. I don't know. I'm, I'm not. I'm not planning on keeping Iron Bomb around for the small chance that it's good in Sector Six boarding. I, I just don't find that to be a worthwhile investment. If I can sell both these bombs to get a good weapon, like any burst laser or a flak or a heavy laser, I'm gonna do it. Well, Preigniter is one of the few times when Iron Bomb is good, but I can't afford it. Um. So we did run, one run with hacking, one run, one run with cloaking, and I liked cloaking better. But that was because I failed the hacking O2 strat. So I feel like I just want to get cloaking. I feel like I'm just gonna sell this and buy all the fuel and save for cloaking. I think that's what I'm gonna do. As much as I like backup battery, if I can just get cloaking or a weapon, those are the two things I'm looking for. Cloaking or a weapon, and none of those are those things. Do I want to buy a missile? I don't think I want to. We're still pretty reliant on... I mean, small bomb makes up for us not having a weapon. Small bomb plus mind control plus teleporter means we can deal with most situations pretty darn well still, so I'm not too worried about us not finding a great weapon. Cloaking is safer, definitely agree. 
Couldn't you just have airlock birthday parties for injured crew? I'm talking about my Lanius, Bird Brain. How do you have a airlock birthday party for a Lanius and it do anything? I can't vent Lanius. That is the one downside of this ship. There is no venting of Lanius to get rid of their, you know, to reset their health with Plumbe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is it possible to use bombs on your own ship? Yes, I could small bomb my guys, I guess, to finish them off, but three missiles, I don't know that that's worthwhile use of missiles. Okay. All right, he's got teleporter. I want to teleport on you first. Good. Nice. Get a don't get that Dumble Doge. Leave the small bomb online. I'm cool with that. You can have an airlock birthday party. It just doesn't kill them. You can have a social gathering with the humans, though. <laughs> uh, yes, I, I could have an airlock birthday party with my Lanius. It would just be a fun birthday party in the in in the airlock. It wouldn't be like a. Dr. Kevorkian birthday party where everybody dies. I don't know if that's what his birthday party would be like. One, two, three, four. I guess quest could be a store, I think. No, this is the one where we're boarding and killing them. You hate social gatherings. <laughs> that feel when the kanjis have a birthday party in their lock and their friends don't want to come. What's a kanji? Is that what... Was that... Lanius was... Kanji was supposed to be Lanius? What a weird autocorrect. Uh, maybe if you keep sending over crew into Lanius' room and watch the crew members die over and over, maybe eventually their hearts will break. <laughs> That's the goal. We want to break the hearts of our enemies. Okay. I'm really worried about my clone bait. Going down right now. Here. Okay. Whew, okay. Do 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 Frickin' missiles, man, I swear. He just set my thing on fire here. How the hell did he get through that, by the way? How the hell is he getting through? Kill his crew, man. Oh my god. Give them nothing. Jesus Christ, I cannot believe how much damage we took that fight. There's a fire in my doors. Unfrickin' believable. That chain laser plus mini beam is a, uh, a beam drone is apparently the most OP thing I've ever seen. Lanius or Japanese? Your phone's autocorrect goes overboard when in the Twitch when you're in the Twitch app. Okay, that's <laughs> weird. I don't even know what kanji is. Um, at least the missile didn't hit my clone bay. True. Very true. That could have been worse. Still pretty darn bad, honestly. God damn it, missiles. Fucking missiles, man. Fucking missiles. <laughs> no matter how much I play FTL, I'm just always going to say fucking missiles. They're so stupid and imbalanced. There are a timer on your health, Rand. Well, you know what? Could you shorten that timer? I mean, lengthen that timer. Take that timer out. So in order to go to the store, I have to... Frickin' dive. No, don't shorten it. Please don't shorten it. Okay. Alright, we have a silly device. Maybe silly device can help us. It's actually one of the best crew we can get right there. 
Zoltan for extra power is cool. Alright, there are three types of alphabets for the Japanese language. Hiragana, Katagana, and Kanji. Okay, cool. I'm pretty ignorant about Japanese language, that's for sure. Okay, I could actually dive for a store. I have enough for cloaking, and I have a combat 2 to sell. What range you love missiles, though? <laughs> this is rough. This is... We're, like, kind of right on the edge here. Zoltan means we gotta get through Zoltan Shields to board. Our defense is terrible. Diving... Only gets us one jump, and if there's no cloaking... I could repair a bunch. Could be a good weapon. Sector 3 dive with two engines and no cloaking. <sighs> Can't do it. Zone control means there's a chance we find an early store. Like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we can go across. Okay. All right, store. I gotta buy all the fuel. I would love some cloaking, please. These weapons aren't great, but I'd probably take the chain laser. <sighs> no freaking cloaking, man. All right. They have no cloaking and spend all your scrap on engines, Kappa. Will I ever be happy if I don't know what I missed? I don't know what that question means. Oh, uh, let's see here. I have to do that. If I want to keep the small bomb. I only have three missiles left. Small bomb's still really good for boarding. Taking out Kong Bay's heal bays. This is up almost all my scrap. Basically all my scrap with the repairs and fuel I'm going to need to buy. I think I sell the small bomb. I don't like it, but I think I need to do it. I still want to save enough to be able to afford cloaking if we can find it. Oops. Oops. Uh, in relation to the store, what if you ask yourself for the rest of the run, what if that store had cloaking and now you missed it forever? I'm not going to do that. That's a That's a... It's a useless um, thought process. What if there was cloaking in that one store and I missed it forever? I mean, it's FTL. It's going to be random. I would I would have long stopped playing FTL if, that, if I let that eat me up all the time. Did they have a shield bypass? I don't think they did. Choose your doom. Mantis is the least scary. Unless they have a single goddamn missile. Great. Single goddamn missile. I hit you six times in the weapons room. There's really like three. But still, fucking two damage missiles still fucking online. I cannot watch my language when shit like this happens every time I play this stupid game. Every. Fucking time, man. We just took like six damage because of one stupid bullshit overpowered missile. Oh my god. By that token, it could have been free bucks and brunettes for all that matter. You make choice and live with it. Regret is not for the captain. That's right. That sounds like something, you know, that Captain Picard would say. Regret is for the weak. The weak-minded. You'll always regret the choice that you don't that you do not take. In FTL you can't make assumptions, yeah. Oh god. Save this position. 
All right, 151 scrap. One, two, three. If I don't get fuel from these next two jumps, I probably can't go to this quest. <sighs> Did I, didn't I have a quest that was aboard them? Did I miss that quest? Maybe I already did it. I don't know. Check it out. Healing Burst is quite helpful here, actually. Let's heal up our dude. And it's also free scrap if I can get to a store without running out of fuel. Do, 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 do. So, if I take this quest and I don't get fuel here or here... I will have one jump to get fuel. I think I'm gonna chance it. This is, I think, a delivery thing where we get resources for free anyway. Okay. Well, that's great if I can get some fuel to get to the store to sell it. Oh, did I miscalculate? Do I do do I get one jump? Okay, this is a fight. If he offers me any fuel, we immediately take it. Fucking three shields and a missile. What is this bullshit? What are these ships? <laughs> Got hacking too. Okay, I need to do this. That's what happens. And of course he's got fucking healed guy. I need to get more crew over there. Okay. Okay. Thank God we got two fuel. There's no way I can get out before this missile hits us. So we hope we dodge. No dodge, just a free extra damage, you know, because F us, FTL's a piece of crap. F me, what am I supposed to do? Just free goddamn missile damage all day. Yeah, the O2 hack was good for us. If it was weapons or teleporter, I probably couldn't have gotten that kill. Okay, all right. Uh, we have lots of scrap. Please, for the love of God, give me cloaking, a flak, heavy laser, something. Something I need. Cloaking, there we go. There we go. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and... Do I want to sell this heal or do I want to use it? Buying this 100%. Do I want to hold on to the heal bomb, actually? Not really. I'm going to use it to heal up my crew and then uh, sell it. Just because it's burning a hole in my pocket with the scrap I can get from it. I can get something like either third shield, but I really need just more dodge so that missiles are not destroying me every time. So now what we're looking for is a weapon upgrade. An extra dodge, we can get up to 90% dodge while cloaked. We have all of our power in the right place. And get one extra jump if I go through two nebulas, nebulae. Just painting their study. Oh my these freaking ships, man. Well, my clone bay is now offline. Okay, just as long as you don't die. Teleporter's now offline. 
Oh my god. Please don't kill my crew. Let me fucking kill his crew, goddammit. single ass missile is kicking my ass today. Oh my god. 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 I am I Am I soft locked? Um I have to repair O2. Which crew do I lose for this? Oh my god, am I soft locked? I'm fucking soft locked. No, I'm not. All my crew are gonna die, and then I'm gonna have two Lanius left. Fucking hate this game, man. I fucking hate this game. Ugh, fuck me, man. It's over anyway. I mean, we're running here and die. My Lanius will get back. They will. After all my crew die, it's going to trigger the event. <sighs> this game is so stupid, man. Alright, see you later, Ren. <sighs> Single fucking missile, man. Single fucking two damage missile, and we lose four crew, five crew. If I had not moved my first guy who was repairing, maybe I could have avoided that. God damn it, I hate this game so much. No, they don't come back after repair clone pay. You have to have backup DNA bank. That's why do didn't repair clone bay. I don't know what that statement means, Laner. Oh my god. That's that's so that was a, a an event where they had free borders, they had extra borders, and they had a missile. Like Honestly, I feel like I micro microed that fight pretty fucking well, but it doesn't matter because they hit my clone bay and my O2 and my teleporter. Those three things, missiles are fucking stupid, so we're screwed. Oh, god damn you, FTL. You are so fucking trolly and shitty, and I hate you. So we're basically a gunship now. We just can't board anymore. Ah, oh, fucking hell, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can't get seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. <sighs> yeah, sure, I can do this, but I'm not going to. Because if I get any free crew, I don't want them to immediately be vented. <sighs> Christ almighty. One, two, three, four, five. I guess we do that. No, I'm not going back to the store to buy crew because that would force me into a dive, so that would be a bad play. I'm also almost out of fuel. Would be a waste of a fuel. We just we just move forward. Move forward, shake it off. Say FTL's a piece of shit like normal. Hey, do you wanna me to go down to one fucking fuel? What is wrong with you, FTL? Why are you so mean to people? I hate you. Get the hell out of here. If I get no fuel, I'm, like, literally diving here. Of course we get Zoltan Border Police right after we get fucking wrecked. Why wouldn't we? Oh my god. Oh, are you fucking kidding me, man? Thank god. Thank god we got there in time.
three fucking shields. Zoltan border police right after we got fucked by a missile. I would apologize for my language, but I just, I don't even feel bad. FTL, FTL stupid and deserves to get verbally abused. FTL deserves to be verbally abused, man. It's just so ugh, frustrating to play. Well, that's my punishment for not venting everything, I guess. I should have just vented everything. I should have just vented everything. I didn't vent everything because if I get crew, I don't want to immediately vent them. But you know what? Screw it. If you get on my ship, you're immediately vented because F you, FTL's a piece of shit. Oh my god, FTL. Give me a f break, man. I deserve a free freaking halberd beam or something right now, man. I swear. At least we got fuel there. One thing I will say is if I do this and I board, I can't force them to go anywhere. So I need I need to have a room where I force enemy boarders to run to. I guess we'll make it be shields. Like this room and shields. Everything else will vent. I don't want them to run to doors. Well, the... That doesn't make sense, my string. You can't vent every room except the one a new crewmate will spawn in because they literally always spawn in piloting. So that doesn't work either. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm just going to do this. I'll force them to move here. Vent everything but these rooms. Yeah, I could take the power out of the O2, but I don't want them. I don't want to do that because I need to have... A room with O2 in it so that borders, like fucking border police that we just had, will run out of a room and not just kill a room. Uh, can we keep their distance? I appreciate people's advice, but I, I, you need to have a little more FTL knowledge before you start backseating people. So please, please give me a break. Hey, what do you know a map when we have literally nowhere to go? Thanks, FU2 FTL. Thanks, FU FTL. Uh, we don't need drone parts. That's fine. Slug home nebula. Well, I mean, I guess I don't care if they hack my O2, right? Level 2 piloting sounds good right about now. I guess so. I'm not sure why that's the thing yet. Zero in on being an upgrade we should get. I'm honestly thinking about third shield. Because if they hack my O2, it doesn't really matter. Yes, less, yes, like Plunder Pig said. I'm actually just getting third shield. We need we need to be defensive, uh, defensive gunship is what we need to survive right now. Why keep the shields under pressure? I don't know. You mean why keep it with O2 in it? Okay, I'll explain after this fight. I'll explain some mechanics of FTL after this fight. I'm about to get boarded. Now they're going to go into a room with no O2, and now they're going to try to run to a room with oxygen. Because shields had oxygen, they're going to try to run into it. If shields were vented, they would have just attacked my cloaking, and they probably would have taken my cloaking offline before I could stop them. That is the reason. It's to force borders into a place where I want them to go. To manipulate FTL's uh, AI. I'm not going to be able to stop them from running because they just dodge fucking 87% of my shots. Or 100 fucking percent, you know, whatever. I 
sure wish I had fucking half the dodge that my enemies have, man. I swear. He, this is fucking unbelievable, man. <laughs> this is so stupid. Why the hell would I use a stun bomb right now? Why the hell would I use it? This is so insane how many dodges they have. Do I get here in time? Okay. This was a really possibly terrible choice that I just made to board here. Let's just cloak that. Okay, it's gonna kill one of my crew, it's fine. Who's still alive on their ship? Why is there still there in the weapons room? Okay, NG. Where the hell is the crew, man? Jesus Christ almighty, man. I swear this game right now. I don't think Lanius is as good a ship as some of these other ships, honestly. I don't think Lanius B is as good as other ships. Like, on no hard mode, no pause, having to deal with the micro of dealing with crew running around. No sensors. That's why you kill O2. Laner, if I had done anything except board and piloting, I would have lost the game. Because if I didn't stop them running away when I boarded, they would have taken my crew and it would have been game over. So I know it was ballsy to go over there and maybe I shouldn't have done it, but if I wanted to kill this guy and get scrap, I'm pretty sure what I did was the only play that worked. But maybe I should have shot O2 after heal bay, I don't know. Yeah, I'm getting wrecked, that's how it's going. Okay. That's how it's going. Six health, 50 scrap. Not enough power to power all my shiznit. Uh, okay, so the best way to get it, the only way to get a double reward is to Attack the Mantis. Why not leave O2 unvented as the only room? Because if I have every room open except O2, and they board in O2, they, and they kill it, then I take an extra hole damage. I'm trying to manipulate the AI in such a way that if they board me... And have and I have only the shields room unvented. Wherever they board, they will run immediately for the shields to get out of the venting. This is to uh, stop the enemy boarders from doing actual system damage or hole damage by attacking systems. If I leave the O2 unvented and they board in the O2, then they'll attack the O2. I would have to have some other room unvented so that I could immediately vent the O2 and have them run over there. I think the way I have it is the best way to do it. <sighs> oh my gosh. I was like, please don't have a missile. Please don't have a missile. Guess what he has? Double fucking burst laser two, man. What do you know? He boarded in my O2. So if he'd done that, he would have probably attacked my O2. I'm going to vent this room now. Huh. 
How the fuck did he actually get through that? How the hell did he... That was vented. Because these doors weren't closed. God damn it. I cannot believe those dodges right there, actually. Now my O2 is going to get hit. You were seeing exactly why. You were seeing exactly why I made the choice. I am so freaking screwed right now. I have to go to a safe jump to repair. Yeah, I think this tier should go down. A t uh, this ship should go down a tier. Honestly, I, I mean, I don't know that it's misplays. I don't think it's misplays that's put me in this position. There are... It was a fucking really bad RNG missile that took out Teleporter, Clone Bay, and O2 that lost us all our crew. But... I, I am I am feeling less and less like this ship is as consistent as some people think it is. All right, let me let me explain something to people about boarding an O2. I think there's some people who don't understand. When enemies board you, if a room is vented, they will not stay in that room. They will do their best to get out of a room. So, the reason I have O2 on and I want these three rooms open or not open. Um with O2 in it. So if the if if enemies board in any room that's not shields, this room or this room, they will immediately try to run to shields so that they don't get vented. You need to have a single room that is a system room unvented if you want boarders to not just sit in a room, do damage like you just saw to my cloaking and my O2. Even though those rooms were vented, they stayed in there because there was no system room that was unvented to run to to attack. So in my opinion, the best way to set up to deal with borders when you have two Lanius is leave a one room that's got a lot of system power in it. Shields have six systems they have to get through. Unvented so that if they board in here, I can vent them. And then they will, it'll take a long time before they do anything. If they board anywhere else, they will run immediately for here. So that's why. And so people can stop giving me suggestions about what room I should leave unvented. I am salty. I'm super salty because... I'm about to lose this streak on one of the ships that I thought was one of the strongest, and I'm just getting absolutely sh shrecked. So. <sighs> Stay hidden. I don't want to fight a Flak 2 ship anyway. Oh, what do you know? I'm out of fuel. A uh, single missile means we probably are just dead here. Are the enemies equally likely to teleport into any room? That I don't know. I think it's just completely random, but I couldn't tell you exactly. See? They're running that way. Fuck you, FTL. 94% hitting my shields. We're just dead. I even mistimed that. Two damage. Uh, it's one damage missile. That's a mini beam death. There you go. Lanius B. Two and out. I'm not restarting this streak because I don't think Lanius' B is as good as I thought it was. Frickin' Lanius B, man. Frickin' Lanius B. An amazing ship. We got completely shrecked by, F uh, by RNG. The one fight that killed all of our crew ended it. Honestly, I don't think this ship is as, as consistent as ships with hacking or Zoltan Shield to start. I actually think this needs to go down a tier. No, it's not the end of the tier list. My top ship is Zoltan A. Man, that was a frustrating run. It starts with amazing stuff, but I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I really really despise Lanius boarding against anything but auto scouts on no pause. It is so frustrating um, crew management wise to deal with their their crew running all over the ship. Um, it's it's to me it's the the reason I, I think all 
boarding ships might actually need to be down to tier list and harbor no pause because of the extra micro requirement micromanagement do you think uh, hacking is spirit of cloaking with boarding uh i don't know about that no i don't i don't know about that plunder pig i disagree with that you're you're you're, you're not taking into consideration the fact that you have no missile defense and you're weaker against the boss without cloaking defensively anyway. I I don't know about that. Well, I got to take a break because I am completely uh, tilted right now. So I'm going to stand stretch your restroom. Thank you all so much for watching. Is anybody in the stream? All that stuff. Y'all y'all talk about how I'm wrong about Lanius B being weak, uh, but I just need to take a break. I'll be back in a bit, my friends.